I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. Well, actually, Mast would be paying, but I see your point and assure you that you will be compensated for your time. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. I don't. Not for sure. It's all a theory, certainly, but it is completely supported by the data and observation, like all good science. It's the best we have to go on right now. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. We're continuing to see an increase in the strength and frequency of the vibrations. I don't know how much more significant it'll become. If there's no response, the tree may vibrate itself and some nearby portion of the city to destruction. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Certainly wouldn't have been my first suggestion. Something about the common roots of humanity or some such. Politicians and their metaphors. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. I'm sorry, I'll get to the point. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. But we don't have any time to waste.
quiet day. There was a small bit of dust on your shoulder. Now today you try to avoid So you want to come here for a half? Welcome to the Co Heritage Museum. Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's history. That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Several that bordered on being incomprehensible. Honestly, I thought it was some kind of strange prank until now. A bunch of gibberish about dire consequences and frequency modulation and genetic reconstruction. It all came across as rather unhinged. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized nor particularly inclined to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry but it's staying in storage. I have artifacts that date... I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. That's what I'm hoping. You think that means you can push me around? Not likely. You're welcome to try to wear me. I can't just hand out museum exhibits. If this isn't some sort of hustle, go talk to Earl Fulton. I believe he may still have some...
The branch is the museum's property. I'm not... handing it over and that's final. Please, I have artifacts that date all the way back to the time of Solomon Co. Very well. So it gets... There are some things, but I would pay a lot. And those documents... The museum is... Everything you see here is a piece of Aquila City's... Aquila City was... Along with other settlers, the planet was... Oh, there were so... Of course... Today, Aquila City is the... Most people know so. He was an astrophysicist. Later in life, he decided... The bravery during the Great Exodus. He and some others... That is... I assume you're... Hmm. A lot of that these days. Well, I'm afraid you've... Wait. That includes... Sorry. Welcome to the co-heritage. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> I hear you. Handing over that branch is starting to look pretty good. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample. Extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. And this was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And 
There it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick. You're right. There's a chance that there could be some minor adverse side. We won't play the broadcast. And aside from that, if... I have no doubt... Administrations come and go. I came SSN all this way. As you can see, traffic is weather today, huh? We've done it! I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. I don't know! We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it. 